Welcome to another segment of Chat with Nat. I'm here with Candy and it is freezing cold. We're out at, where are we? Bo Bo Desert. Bo Desert. And we are about to go on a hot air balloon ride. We are very excited. Are you? <laughs> I hope I survive. <laughs> We're hoping we survive. And we'll survive. So um, a very early start to the morning. Um, in about 3 a.m. wake up so what time are you up? Uh, I got up at 4. <laughs> <laughs> oh unfortunately you didn't have as far as to drive so you're gonna come with us on a hot air balloon hopefully we get up safely and land. Candy's dad's made her will so we're good to go and hopefully you'll enjoy coming on this trip with us. So we've just started to take off, or we've taken off. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you go? I didn't think I was afraid of heights. <laughs> so Ken, you've <laughs> been holding on for dear life <laughs> the entire time. So we're about 90 or so feet, and we've been told it goes to, we're going to get up to about 4,000. <laughs> Very nice and toasty. So we could, yeah, we could have brought some marshmallows and toast them, but we're heading towards some trees, see? Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, so Candy's slightly concerned. <laughs> but no, so far, so far we got up safe. Well, we've obviously still got a bit more to go, but yeah. it's very... We're getting there. Yeah, we are getting there. And mm -hmm. this is pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so obviously, as you can see, we're on a hot air balloon. Um, there's, what, what was the guy saying? There's no wings, there's no motor, there's not really no a pilot. Wheels, no, no wheels, no, no seat. Steering. Yeah, no seats, you obviously are standing. And then pulling, really. pulling a cord and setting some flames up in order for this thing to go. But so apparently they're very safe. <laughs> As I, that's another thing. Your um, boyfriend, Josh, yes. Josh yes. Uar, um, he's actually heading off to London for the Olympics as a rower. So, and you're heading over. You're pretty pumped. Yeah, definitely. Um, I've got a countdown. It's like, oh, it's only like two and a bit more, two and a half months to the end of our season, and then I'm yeah off over. And he starts rowing. <laughs> so like, you've got your tickets. I just more just sort of about getting on the plane, what I have to do first, and then you know, this is a race now, I'm joking now. So yeah, definitely super excited about it. It's gonna be good. And not, and because you're actually missing our end of season trip. I can't I believe you'd prefer to go to London to go to the Olympics rather than hang out. And go I was like, I've never been trip. I've never been to Splendor as well. It would have been the most amazing thing, like and I and a few days in Byron, I can't believe it. But London versus. I know. I wish I could do both, but I just. Sorry, I'd be with you. I'd be <laughs> at London. It was a once in a lifetime thing, so exactly. you have to do it. Exactly. So we've finished the hot air balloon ride. We've now been at O'Reilly's Vineyard and had a beautiful 
Champagne breakfast, nice feed. How'd you find the flight? Um, in the end it was pretty good. It was a little bit nervy at the beginning. <laughs> like you move around and the whole basket moves, but no, nah, it was exciting and I didn't I leant back in the middle, I didn't lean over in case I fell over. <laughs> in case you went too far. <laughs> yeah, so no, it was and then all of a sudden you're looking down and you're bloody a long way up and it was a good now, there. Netball back this year, so second year. Is it? Yeah, yep. for you, second year. How enjoying it, finding it a bit easier after yeah, first year? Definitely, it's like easier to get back into the groove of things. Um, pre season was just as hard. <laughs> this never, year was a killer. That never gets any easier. I swear, if I see kangaroo says, kangaroo point says again, I'm going to scream yeah. death at them. Yeah. And you've made a few changes from previous years. Um, your uniform, one in particular. Oh yeah. <laughs> one thing in particular, Candy's uniform appears to have shrunk. shrunk. <laughs> the, lady, the lady in the pre-season competition shrunk my uniform. The lady, not Candy, <laughs> requesting a few centimetres. I didn't be. get it taken up. <laughs> That's how it came. But no, Candy, as you said, if you've got it, Exactly, fallen it. Why not? Why not? She's got Just good. put it out there. <laughs> She's got good legs. Given a few of the others a run for their money. <laughs> and now, well, pretty much everyone in our team, like you've got Josh and I've got Trav, but pretty much everyone in our team has a boyfriend, except what is it, Mills? Yeah, Mills. Mills. Amelia Ann is now yeah. our only single lady, I think. Is yeah. our only single girl yeah. in the team. So, what sort of fella do you think we should be trying to find for Mills? Who well, do you reckon she'd be after? This weekend. is, we're doing this for you, Amelia. <laughs> Special little thing. What happened on the weekend? The sun's, they're at the beach, except, right, you could have at least walked up the beach instead of into the beach. Yeah, guys. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> We were stretching right there, just like, just where your towels just happened to be, waiting for you to come by. But, um, you know, they're all quite tall, quite athletic, so, so we're good looking. So, do you think that's the sort of guy Mills would be after? We could maybe put in a bit of a, an ad for her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, See who calls in. Mills is a super cool chick, so it'd have to be some pretty special guy, so... Uh, I think minimum requirements we're looking for is 190 centimetres. Tall, 190, handsome. Tall, handsome. And she likes dark, dark I don't know. Hair. I don't know. She's, uh, she's talking to me about a surfer guy the other day. So I, th I don't think she's too fussed about that. But 190, tall and handsome. All right. If you fit the bill, <laughs> contact me for Queensland. <laughs> <laughs> Suns players, if you fit the bill. <laughs> Mills, oh, Mills, we're starting at your very own personal <laughs> dating agency. You can thank us later for that one. Well, Candy, thanks for coming. Be absolutely ripper of a day here. I've been up for six hours and it's currently 9.30 in the morning. Yeah. Oh, wow. Quite chilly. Yep, beautiful. Um, so, yeah, thanks for coming. Hot air balloon and now here for us champagne breakfast. You're quite a possible looking... Going what? Platypus looking. He said platypus. Please be quiet. <laughs> platypus are watching. So we, so we'll let you guys go. We're gonna go find a platypus, <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be back again soon with another segment of chat with Nat. Bye.